Okay, it's now recording. So, so here I, I'm standing in some intact spectrum felt in Kazuka. Uh, on a, are we on a northern slope here? Where's north? Yeah, nor northwest, eh? northwest in the slope. And this looks amazingly similar to the Cromquert site. It just struck me that uh, you've got spectrum just absolutely dominating. It's it, it's just take, uh, taken over the site. There are not many other plants that you can see in amongst them, certainly not a dominant species. So this is the, possibly the best example of an indigenous species dominating an environment. And that is actually what spectrum felt is all about. It's up to like 80% plus uh, uh, canopy cover. And yeah, there are other species that are in there, and uh, there's, there, there is some diversity. But this is what Cromput looks like, and um, it's not a bad thing. This, this is the natural state of spectrum felt. So the argument that one planting a spectrum monoculture doesn't actually hold up at all, because you're just returning the system to its natural state. You're taking it from this degraded environment, bare soil, low diversity, into a spectrum dominated system and um, yes it's not a particularly high diversity system but, but uh, you know that's what nature's provided on this particular site and uh, there's no need to aim for super high diversity, what you need to aim for is returning the state, the system back to its original state which is a system dominated by this plant. Um, and all the, yes, maybe your, you know, diversity of other plants is not being hugely amplified, but that's missing the point, that there are countless other wonderful benefits of turning the system from this degraded state into a spectrum dominated state. I mean, from insects, this is habitat you've created, so they're insects, they're, they're, they're birds. Um, chameleons. Chameleons that are that we saw uh, that are going to live in here. So it's, it's biodiversity increases for sure. And, and interestingly enough, the plant diversity um, is, is also uh, comparable at Cromport. It looks like exactly like this, uh, dominated by spectrum. The diversity at Cromport is the same as the intact plant diversity. Uh, and, and so, yes, it's, you know, the degraded state is low plant diversity, the, the spectrum dominated state is relatively low plant diversity, that's missing the, the point. Um, this system is also, the water is infiltrating into your aquifers, uh, your carbon is going into your soils and into your plants, and you've uh, created uh, diversity for other, um, other species, uh, insects, chameleons, birds, you name it. Uh, have I missed any other points? No, oh, so I think the argument that the monospecific stands are biodiversity poor is missing the point that what it's doing is taking one biodiversity poor state, which plant is degraded, diversity. plant diversity, yeah, let's be very no, specific, plant, right. yeah, one, one low plant diversity state yeah. into another uh, uh, low plant uh, plant relative, diversity. It's probably much higher. Plant, well, we all have to test that. But yeah, no, we need we need to explore uh, into that. Into a relatively yeah. plant diversity poor state. Yeah, but That's but the ecosystem problem. engineering properties go through the roof. Yeah, and then the structural, as you said, the structural increase for all the other biodiversity components yeah. goes through the roof. But there's something even more simple, Alistair, to complain that there's not enough plant diversity in this or in, at Cromport in our restored sites is basically complaining to nature hey, over millions of years you didn't put enough plants in here I mean, what sort of an argument is that? It's but, ridiculous But I, you know, I, I would argue that this is one of the spectrum states okay. I think it occurs in many different configurations sure. This is one of them yeah. Okay. But, and, but I think in terms of all the alternatives, uh, the alternative states of degradation, yeah. this is still preferable. Uh, by orders, by of orders of magnitude. So, yeah, uh, we need to express this argument in a paper. Or in a blog. Yeah. You've just been YouTube. You're under five minutes. So <laughs> that should be long enough. <laughs>